Learning about science, lectures, notes, and plain old studying are very important. Sometimes, though, there's no substitute for seeing how it's used in the real world. WBZ is committed to showcasing some of the innovative ideas transforming education today. Tonight, we introduce you to a group of fortunate students known as the MGH Youth Scholars. They're getting a front row seat, learning all the possibilities of a career in health care. See the lasers here? 65 feet below the Charles River, in a room with radiation proof walls, dozens of students from Boston, Revere, and Chelsea are seeing firsthand how a radiation oncology department works. How do we know the mask is ready? They're learning how specialized masks make sure the right dose of radiation precisely targets a small area. Now you see kind of like the, the side plane of all the organs and the, the anatomy. And they consult with the dysimetry department, unsung specialists who develop strategies to make sure the dosage of radiation is just right. So stop right there. Students like Jamale Lugo are having a whole new world of medicine, one beyond just doctors and nurses, opened up to them. It definitely makes me think a lot more and it makes me see different things and it makes me wonder. You're saying he got a full scholarship to BC. Cool. Many of the program's graduates are now attending top tier colleges. Christy Egan says institutions like Mass General can really help students students master STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math. We're able to show them uh, what STEM looks like in a research lab and how uh, it fits into their academics. Healthcare as an industry is very important to our regional economy. It's the largest source of jobs in Boston, and it was the fastest growing sector over the last 10 years. To engage young people in a healthcare profession at an early age is critical, especially to a place like Boston. How would it make you feel to watch down a hallway here at Mass General someday and see one of the former youth scholars working as a nurse or a doctor. As long as they're not operating on me, I think I'm okay, right? Um, I, we'd love that. Talal Hamza, a 10th grader from Revere High School, now has that as a goal. People I've met are amazing from all different types of backgrounds, and hopefully one day I can become a neurosurgeon. Mm. The program's grown dramatically from about 150 students to now about 600, and the oldest are now sophomores in college. If you know of an innovative program, tell us about it. You can send an email to ioneducation at wbztv.com or contact me on Twitter at Paula Evan WBZ.